it's Tara here with Create Life Paper Words and I have a special process video for you. So this is for Labor Day and I am doing a really fun um, collaboration with Sweet Girl Designs. And so we have picked three things. So we are doing this gorgeous mood board that I have up on my iPad here. Um, we are going to do stitching and we are going to do rub ons. Um, for this video or for this layout so we thought it would be a lot of fun we did one in oh for Canada Day July 1st and it was a lot of fun um, it was really neat to see what Christy made and what I made so this is our inspiration colors and I have got a few other things that I found so I'm gonna be using these rub-ons right here um, and I love sort of the leaves and the feathers, so that's sort of what I'm going to be picking up from the rub-ons. Um, I also really love that they've got the flamingo there, so I borrowed this um, cute little flamingo stamp set from a friend of mine who sells Stampin' Up! So I'm going to be using the flamingo, and then I thought this was so neat. I found little flamingo washi tape, and I believe this was a Dear Lizzie one. So... Anyways, uh, stay tuned uh, as I work on this really fun layout and oh yeah, and I'm going to be using lots of blues as well. So I've, this is what my layout's going to look like before I'm using like this soft pink and then this brighter aqua colored blue and yeah, let's, let's see how it comes together. So here's a picture of the inspiration piece that we're using for our mood board. It's a little easier to see right here. I didn't realize that it was so dark on my um, iPad when I was recording. Um, as you know, I don't normally record in real time. Usually I just record in uh, using hyperlapse. So um, I, yeah, I wasn't really sure how it was going to turn out and it was really dark, which mm, is really odd because I just started filming this like right after I stopped that recording. So anyways, I'm just trying to figure out what I'm doing with these empty spots that I have. I had a really hard time with this mood board at the beginning. When I f Christy first sent it, I was like, oh yeah, I love that. I love the colors. And then as I started laying everything out, I was like, oh, I don't, I don't really have any of the colors in this color in a pattern paper. Whereas I did have it, um, like I had that beautiful aqua color, but it was in just a cardstock. So I had to really dig through my stash. I had to really think about it. I think I had the pictures just laid out on my desk for three days before I actually started on anything. And that was just because I just really wasn't sure where this was going to go. So at this point, I'm still not sure where this is going. But I absolutely love the end result and it actually turned out really well. It's it's a really nice, fun layout and yeah, that sort of surprised me a little bit. Especially because I had such a hard time with it. So I've already got my rub-ons on. I love, love these rub-ons so much. I found them at Michael's and they were an amazing deal. I think they were like $2 and there were three sheets of them. So I've used them quite a bit. You've I, um, I have one layout a couple weeks ago that I posted that I use them on and I really love them. And then uh, they've got that pink, which is, you know, pairs perfectly with the mood board and colors that I was hoping to go for. And then I felt like I needed something a little bit more at the bottom where it says wild and free and then it's got the flamingos with the washi. I just felt like it needed something to be that full um, four inches vertical. So I just found this little die cut that says summer. I think that's what it's called as a die cut. So then I was going through my pink embellishments and I found like the last seven paper heart that I have. I love these vellum hearts so much and I went crazy using them and I think I just had this pink one left so this is now finally done and also pulling out some other pink stuff. I'm again not really sure where I want to go but I know that I've got this blue um, four by six card right there at the very top where I just put that heart that I need to fill and I'm just not sure what to do with it. Lately I have not been really doing like a title card because I'm not doing weekly project life. I'm doing a monthly one and I actually do like um, a full eight and a half by eleven page double-sided for my 
you know, for my, my monthly title card, I guess, and then a full 12 by 12. So I'm not really sure where to go with this, but I know that I want to do like a little title type card. As I was digging through my sash, I found this little pink watermelon, which if you were looking at the mood board, it's, yeah, it's the, we've got watermelons in it. So it's actually perfect. And yeah, just pulling actually in some of this other washi tape, which I didn't think I was going to use, but I really like that bright pink on it. So it, it sort of suits it quite nicely. And then a little popsicle because it's summer, you know, and it's hot out and it just paired really well with that cute little watermelon. And then I'm going to use these thickers throughout the layout. They are a, like a fuchsia sparkle and I want to say that they're Heidi Swap ones so those I use throughout the layout and if you watched one of my very last oh yeah my uh, one of my scrapbooking pages I think it's called the cousins as well when I tried using it on anyways I'd wanted to use this happy day and didn't and so I'm finding use for it right now so these pictures are sort of from one day we decided to go to the park. Um, actually it was like 6.30 and the kids were like, oh, we wanna go to the park. And so I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, fine, we'll go. But you you know, you only get like 40 minutes or half an hour or something like that. And we ended up being there for over an hour and a half cause they were just so awesome. And then we decided to take pictures and it was just such a gorgeous night out, so. And I apologize, um, my camera is really shaky. And that's because I kept hitting the stand, or I kept hitting the cord with my um, with my paper trimmer um, throughout it. So I, I apologize for that, it's, it's just a little shaky. So, sorry about that. And what else can I tell you? Um, yeah, just sort of doing my normal thing here, doing some stamping. I know I wanna put the ages of my kids on to these pictures of them. They all did really well posing for me and it was just sort of fun we just you know the wall was really nice the light was awesome and I'm like okay you guys stand here and my little seven-year-old poser is yeah she was super happy to comply with that and so I got lots of pictures of her and then the middle one Rhett was well he was uh, being really really goofy and really silly so I didn't have as many good pictures of him but I did manage to get a couple and then Emmy kept wanting to walk towards me of course so I did have you know manage to get some really cute ones of her and then yeah we just set up the, the phone on one of the equipment and just did that uh, the four of us so that was really fun too um, so, oh, I'm getting out my watercolors right now. I love watercolors. You probably all know that. So I'm just trying a technique where you um, fill up your water brush with one color and then you dip it in the second color and it, um, it yeah, it gets like that, like ombre type look. So anyways, I am going again with that fun flamingo theme and I have a uh, Bia Flamingo and a Flock of Pigeons. And yeah, it's just going right up at the top there. And my colors were sort of off, but I, I like how it looks, so that's okay. So what else can I tell you? Oh, I am almost done. Um, well, sort of. Um, and I, I will let you know I do the stitching, but it's, it was one of those painfully slow processes. Um, so I did not do the stitching in view, but you can see it in the photos at the end, so. And what else? Uh, I guess thanks Christy for doing this collaboration again. Um, I don't know if I've told you guys before, but Christy and I have been friends for like, I don't know, like 12, 13, 14 years, something like that. We actually both met our husbands the same night and they are cousins. So Christy and I are like are like cousins too. So. How, however that works, I'm not really sure how those kinds of things work, but uh, yes, we are related and we were friends before that. And we sadly don't see each other as much as I'm sure we'd both like to as she lives about three hours away, but um, I th she's scrapped booked for like as long as I can remember, whereas I've only really been scrapbooking for the last five years or so. Um, but I definitely introduced her to Project Life when she was pregnant with uh, Nora. So if you've seen her channel at all, you'll um, definitely see pictures of her little girls. And yeah, so that's just, I guess, a little bit of background about Christy and I. And 
I have to say I'm so excited to see what she comes up with, especially because she picked the gorgeous mood board for this. So I'm really excited to see what she does with these colors and, and that mood board. So. And there's the stitching right there. So I stitched ice cream and I did it in sort of an ombre dark pink to like a really soft blush color. Love how it turned out, but oh my goodness, that is very time consuming. So love how it looked, but I don't know how often I'm going to be doing that again. Um, anyways, thank you so much for joining Christy and I in this collaboration on Labor Day. I hope it's a gorgeous day out for everyone here. I know it's been beautiful the past couple days now that we're getting into September. So if you have any questions, I'd love for you to comment below. And also, if you want to go give Christy some love and watch her video as well, or if you are just finding me from her video, I'd love for you to subscribe. Thanks so much for watching and we will see you next time. Bye.